In today's class, we'll be discussing about the natural resources, and let's begin our class, everyone. But as I always mention, your exams are approaching, everyone. You might have some trouble in remembering all the things. You want to revise at least one chapter. So, everyone, we are here with the small help. Now we have the micro courses, everyone, in which if you have an issue in one of the chapter, you can take that particular chapter for the course, right? These are the micro courses, everyone. You can go ahead on this particular link and use this coupon code and you'll get an amazing discount. Of course, when you're looking for the benefits, everyone, we have live interactive classes with the teachers, special doubt solving tests and assignments specially designed for you. Apart from it, if you really want to study with us, whole syllabus if you really want to brush up all the concept of your ninth class then the crash courses are for you in these crash courses everyone will be studying in detail we will be looking for all the important questions mcqs practicals also apart from it there's a lot of doubt solving test series is there and assignments are there and some of the special attention will be given to all of those students who really want to excel in their life so please go on this particular link use this code and of course the discount is over here so this is very easy everyone ask your parents to just see this and you know you may be a part of our amazing class vedantu okay everyone let's move ahead these are the classes that are going on on our sprint series and i'm so happy that every day we see something new here on the vedantu channel this is me we are just two more class remaining everyone we have uh, you know we have completed all the chapters the two more remaining natural resources and improvement in the food resources let's begin a class everyone and before that i really want to thank you everyone these are the comments about the why do we follow class the question was regarding aids and i'm so happy that future race nishu manoj ankita dibanshu and shreya have really appreciated our hard work thank you so much everyone and i really have a surprise for you these are the answers from the last session of why do we fall uh, ill before that we did the diverse with the living organism this is that uh, sessions answer everyone see over here we have ankita we have payan we have nishu we have tamanna we have rishab yes then uh, we have sharan raj is here rupak is here piyush is here manoj and yeah they are, they have answered that you know andaman and nicobar island i asked that that's amazing everyone okay you know the drill everyone i really appreciate you liking our videos sharing with your friends and subscribe to our amazing channel if you haven't joined it everyone please do join the telegram group and today is everyone we will be learning all of these things let's see what we are learning today in the natural resources everyone first we'll be focusing on the air part we'll be learning about air then water then minerals in the soil then biological bio, bio geochemical cycles and ozone layer right and of course everyone here is the motivation if you cannot do great things do small things in a great way right so this is said by the napoleon just think about it everyone if we cannot do the great things at least we can do small things in a great way right so your great we will be studying for your ninth class properly studying this chapter properly because we sometimes feel that ma'am natural resources is such a boring chapter and it's very easy so let's everyone give our 100% and get all the marks which this chapters offers on this tour everyone let's see the first question 
The nitrogen uh, molecules present in the air can be converted into nitrate and nitrite by an amazing nitrogen cycle is there everyone in which the nitrate and the nitrite are converted as atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken by the plants and the animal directly it follows a cycle and let's see the cycle everyone over here here is the cycle everyone see so this atmospheric nitrogen basically converted by the nitrogen fixing bacteria in the leguminous plants broken down okay with the help of again bacteria ammonification occurs and it is ammonia over here right apart from it when plants get decomposed ammonification occurs and then occurs the nitrification nitrifying bacteria convert the ammonium into the nitrite okay nitrifying bacteria will convert it into the nitrate and then denitrifying bacteria everyone will give the nitrogen back to the atmosphere this is how everyone our cycle of nitrogen work let's see the right answer the right answer is a option number a everyone a biological process of nitrogen fixing bacteria present in the soil by the bacteria that are present in the soil nitrogen can be given to the plants and the animals and can be broken down very easily next question everyone the term water pollution now we have heard about lot water pollution this question is based upon that let's see the term water pollution can be defined in a several way which of the following statement does not give the correct definition everyone water pollution is dash pollution anything that which we add to the water which makes it unfit for the use is called as water pollution let's see which of the definition given over here fits our finding for the water pollution the addition of the undesirable substance to the water bodies the removal of desired substance from the water bodies a change in the pressure of water bodies and a change in the temperature of the water bodies let's see water pollution is like dumping all the waste material right water pollution basically could be involved in the important factors over here we have it addition of the undesirable things into the water bodies if you are some adding extra material which is not required which is undesirable for the water is the definition of the water bodies or water pollution a removal of desirable substance from the water bodies and the change in the temperature of the water bodies okay so the right answer will be a change in the pressure of the water bodies this definition basically does not suit the definition for the pop or water pollution okay so this all things give us a proper hint about water pollution but this the change in pressure does not sound anywhere equivalent to the water pressure next question everyone on your screen among the given option which one is not the correct for the use of large amount of fertilizers and pesticides now we have studied that the pesticides and fertilizers are not good for the soil as well as for the water though they might give very fast results for the crops but they will cause lot of pollution to the sand or the soil and definitely to the water let's see what is the option they are eco friendly they turn the field better after some time they adverse affect the useful components from the soil they destroy the soil fertility this is the same thing everyone i have discussed so the right answer right these all are apt for a fertilizers and pesticides but definitely this option option number a is not fitting into the blame game that we have for the fertilizers and the pesticides so the right answer is that they are eco friendly which they are not this is a false statement regarding the fertilizers and the pesticides clear see how they are twisting the questions everyone right so just be conscious what you are writing and what you are reading and what you are understanding on that note let's see question number four everyone choose the correct statement seems like today is a day about all the correct reading correct thinking and then correct choosing choose the correct sequence everyone CO2 in atmosphere decompose organic carbon in animals and organic 
carbon in plants it is all about carbon cycle everyone let's see the carbon cycle right factories plants animals everyone produces the carbon dioxide which is taken up by the atmosphere and of course this is again taken by the plants for the photosynthesis uh, we eat here usually the plants animals eat the plants and when they die they decompose and of course goes into the fossil fuels again whole cycle continues so the right answer will be that co2 in the atmosphere organic matter or organic compound organic carbon in the plants then goes to the animals from animals to the inorganic in the soil so from the atmosphere plants animal and in the soil everyone question number 5 on your screen oxygen is harmful for till now we have studied that oxygen is really very help is very helpful is very useful but now the question is oxygen is harmful for firm ferns nitrogen fixing bacteria chara or mango tree so we know that ferns is a plant it's required it chara it requires it and mango tree definitely the only one which might have some disadvantages from the oxygen or the nitrogen fixing bacteria because they are the one everyone they are the one which are living inside inside the soil and doing their work so they actually don't require oxygen they work without the oxygen they function without the oxygen so if oxygen is coming over there their functioning will be hampered everyone take a screenshot of this screen that's why i'm not visible on the screen because you can write as is it thus answer you can write in the examination moving on to the next question everyone right so this is the uh, this is the question everyone let's see the right option option number b is right that is a nitrogen fixing bacteria which is a right answer everyone clear let's see the next question which of these is a population indicator it is an organic it is an organic compound we can say it's a living compound is it algae bacteria virus or the lichens think about it yes everyone you are right the right answer is the lichens they are the one which are the pollution indicator they are usually found in the bark of a tree they are very beautiful in color but as in the pollution they start turning pale and you'll not able to see them that means that the place is highly highly polluted can you see everyone the green color lichens now few amount of pollution is there so the color is changing then of course you can see it's turning orange in color and after some time will not see anything okay the pollution that affects is the sulfur dioxide in the sulfur dioxide presence we will not be able to see lichens around the places question number 6 answer number d is right everyone let's see question number 7 now here's the theory part everyone a motor car with a glass totally closed is parked directly under the sun the inside temperature of the car rises very high explain why so it's very common everyone if your parents are parking the car under the sun and if you go inside it suddenly you will find that it is really very hot what is happening the inside gases are being trapped and they are increasing in the temperature right what is happening they the heat inside is getting preserved it is holding up hence it is increase in the temperature a similar effect we usually see in the greenhouse effect okay next question everyone question number 8 on your screen soil formation is done by both abiotic and biotic factors we have studied biotic and abiotic factors biotic are the living factors living organisms a biotic factor abiotic are the non living factors like air water sand etc soil formation is done by the both biotic and abiotic factors everyone list the name of these factor by classifying them as abiotic and biotic super duper easy question everyone let's see so we have right abiotic factors are what water sun and the wind and what are the biotic factors everyone lichen mosses and trees they are the biotic factor question number 9 everyone on your screen match the following let's see everyone this will be interesting cfs CFS are produced. Let's see CFS, CFS, CFS. Oh, your air pollution improve the quality. Ozone. We can connect with the ozone. Okay. 
Smoke, let's just take it after some time. I'll tell you how to do it. Lichens grow on the surface of rock. Pesticides. Pesticides improve soil quality? No. Smoke is what? Air pollution. Okay. Pesticides. Water pollution. Hummer. Humus. Improve the quality of the soil. Let's match them everyone. See? Yes, and here is a list everyone. CFS, <coughs> sorry everyone, CFS is ozone, okay? Smoke is related with the water, uh, air pollution. Lichens, they go grow on the surface of the rock. They're the first one to come on a bare rock. Pesticides, they causes the water pollution and humus that improves the quality of the soil. Very good everyone. Last question of our today's class. Why is a step farming common in hill? You must have seen this beautiful step farming. Have you seen this? Yes, why do they do everyone this? Because so that they can reduce the soil erosion. As the water moves from one layer to the other, the soil also gets accumulated along with the water. And hence, the good soil is not going anywhere. It is just preserving in these hills. And over here, they do the farming. Hence, this plays a very, very important role in preserving the soil. And of course, lots of greenery and lots of beauty look with this. This is called as the terraced farming, everyone. Okay. With this, everyone, we are done with all of these. Amazingly, right? And here is a homework question for all of you. Why do people love to fly kites near the sea? Sure, everyone. It is related with the sea breeze and the land breeze. Think about it. Write in the comment section below and we are good to go. Today you will be having these amazing sessions everyone. So stay tuned to the Vedantu channel. And what else? Yes everyone. Thank you so much for making our app amazing. I hope you have downloaded the app everyone. If you haven't, please download the app. Apart from it everyone, don't forget to Go on this particular link and check out the amazing micro courses and crash courses that we are offering for you. Full syllabus will be covered everyone and this will be super duper amazing. On that particular note everyone, I am Angita Sharma saying you bye bye. Take care everyone, don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends and definitely subscribe to the channel everyone. I will see you very soon, bye bye.